Daddy broke it a drill bit yesterday when we were making our trust. So uh, today I'm gonna go help uh, Daddy get a new one. And Milo okay. will go play. <laughs> and Milo will be alright. Yep, he'll keep us safe from dragons and demons and stuff. Yeah. Milo, see you later. back from our little town trip. We didn't just go to town for a drill bit, but we got a new 5 30 seconds drill bit. Because? Because we broke one yesterday. I uh, think we broke two. Oh, we broke two drill bits. I, I broke the one that I bought for it, and then I broke a spare one that I had just in my old, my box of random stuff, so. Um, we need one to be able to move on. We needed some other stuff from town. So, um, Sadie and I made a little trip. And what did you get, Sadie? Strawberry popsicles. Watermelon popsicles. Watermelon popsicles! But also, close the refrigerator door! Yeah. We're now two weeks and one day away from the date that we will raise the frame for this new building, which will be Nick's workshop. The reason that the raising is on a particular day is because we need help. We have some help coming in the form of friends and family and also some heavy machinery. So all the things, all the pieces and parts need to be ready on that day. And that day is just over two weeks from now. That's where we are. That's where we are. Yeah, only one more set of pieces parts to make. And then you gotta go over and do plates. And then I gotta do boring plates. So what are our plates? Well, they're, they're the same size, like, you know, there's big rectangular six by eights like that. Yeah. And all they have is flat spots made in, cert in certain places. Oh. So just flattening of, so they fit into the steel. Now it's time to make the fifth truss. So that means we're switching jobs. That means my bill gets to do the pegs and the ratchet strap. I get to do the ropes and the metal bars. So I'm excited. <laughs> I get to use the mouse whacker and pound wooden pegs. I can kind of kind of miss the um, wrench jobs though. The wrench jobs, yeah, we'll have to teach Stella how to do the wrench jobs. Oh yeah, we're switching up jobs. Huh? So we are preparing to do, to assemble truss number five of six. Um, we're just picking up some odds and ends. Stella wanted to clean up a little bit. So I said, okay, you do that. <laughs> and, uh, and we're on the home stretch for sure. Pretty confident now, huh? Not even worried about it. We can pound it in, um, it took like about 20 um, pounds on the pegs before. Stella can do it in just eight now. 
No, <laughs> she's good. she got a lot tougher, didn't she? <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. Look what I found. Hey, Milo. Ooh, you can put it in the trash. That's okay. I'll put it on here. I'm going to put the stuff on here in the trash. Can you get that off of there? Out of the five trusses we've assembled so far, not one of them has gone together without at least a little bit of chisel work. In this case, it was the, the mortise and tenon closest to the tool shed between a rafter and a tie beam. Yeah, you think that's sharp? <laughs> yeah, it did the job. I'm gonna find a clamp to um That's all it needs to be right there and then from the other side coming over. No, flip it around and give me zero. Good job, Sadie. Uh, this is the way it screws. Yeah, you got it. You got it, Miller. You're so close. Yeah. You're showing thread. Oh, yay! Yes! Oh, I feel you pushing towards me. Yeah, nice, huh? Let's do this other one. So Milo, can you come step on the ladder for her? You just step on it so that that end can't move, okay? You got it.
know we're going to get at the end. You a little tired, honey? Yeah. I'm tired too. Look at my hands. So dirty. What a dirty child. Did dirty you wear your child. gloves when you were doing the magnet thing? Uh, they're on the chair. Yeah. She had her gloves. <laughs> Are you on it? Now I am. Good. Is this the last pin? Did that take three hours? It kind of felt like it, didn't it? The last pin of truss. One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty tired. I feel a little wrecked after putting together trust number five. Part of why I'm tired is that I've been editing a lot of videos about this process, but um, I track alongside Nick. That's how we do it, that's how it works. If he's working, I'm working. Um, not always in the same place, but we usually keep the same schedule. So if he will take a night off, I will take a night off. And I'm hoping that tonight we're taking a night off. How'd it go, Nick? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Everybody's pretty well checked out on everything now. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Okay. It's a beautiful stack of trusses. Never mind. There's only one more. Alright, let's get this rope put away. So either I'm hoping that Nick's ahead of schedule or I'm hoping it will rain. But being ahead of schedule doesn't really work because he just changes the schedule, so maybe I'm just hoping it'll rain. <laughs> I think my chances are pretty good. Some things are starting to get tall. You got any flower placed on here? One, two, three, four. No, so that no could give us nuts. What? I'll try it one time. Is it? No. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> Can I try? Here. Just make, make me see right Don't on. get your legs caught on the saw horse. Whee! Can I try? <laughs> no, Sadie, Sadie. All right. Sadie's turn. That was so fun. Got the new drill <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Apparently, we're playing games. <laughs> okay, don't don't put your legs out. You can't touch that sawhorse. Okay. What you doing, girls? Making a surprise when you're not supposed to know about it yet. Oh, well, the it's, camera probably should it's, be. It's a surprise for 